Okay. Okay, welcome back to Southern Bell Tarot. So, um, this reading is over the crash of China Eastern Airlines, a Boeing 737 that crashed today. So, I want to make some clarifications before I start the reading. And I have pulled these cards and didn't realize it wasn't, the video wasn't going. It's almost 11 o'clock at night, guys. I'm really tired. I had a long day. But I'm explaining to you guys what I found so far. The aircraft that crashed today was a 737. The aircraft that you've heard has crashed in recent times is the 737 MAX. So essentially, the one that crashed today, the 737, this one, is the older brother of this one. These are two different aircrafts. That's why I need people to understand. This one, historically speaking, has been in service over, likely over 40 years. And numerically speaking, if we're looking at statistic-wise, it's a relatively safe aircraft. The most two recent um instances where everyone on board a 737 died happened in the same country in Russia. I think it was like 44 people most recently and then the other one was like, it was another number, but everybody on board died. The thing is that I'm saying with that is that we have to take into account when planes crash where they crash at. The fact that the most two recent crashes that I found, and this is through my research, I'm not saying I'm 100% correct, occurred in the same country tells me that we they may need to look at Russia further to see are they keep doing the maintenance on the aircraft like they should because I haven't heard anything about the planes requiring mandatory maintenance due to those crashes um this is a safe aircraft um if you look at the video it did a straight nosedive when planes crash they don't they normally think of all the plane crash videos you've seen have you ever just seen a plane go you'll see smaller planes do that but a large passenger plane like set the 737 that doesn't happen um when I heard that it crashed, the first thing I heard was it was intentional, okay? And that made me do a preliminary pull of tarot, and I got the Empress inverted, the Emperor inverted, and the Three of Swords inverted, which to me indicated some type of um, issue between a couple, likely a married couple, or it could be a boyfriend and a girlfriend, that's very hurtful, very emotional. Now, you say the Three of Swords inverted, Upright the Three of Swords means deep emotional hurt, a hurt on a deeply emotional level, mostly representing like romantic relationships. Inverted, you can say someone's coming out of that hurt, but there's still the um, variable that even inverted, it can still indicate that someone's festering in that hurt, okay? You're never just in the safe zone, so it's a double-edged sword when it's inverted. But what I want us to remember is that the 737 and the 737 MAX are two different things. This one had two crashes, one in 2018 and then one in 2019. 28, October of 2018 and then March of 2019, less than six months apart, um, in two different countries where everyone on board died, hundreds of people. Boeing knew that there were issues with the 737 MAX, allowed it to be purchased and allowed people to get on it, and people died because of it. There's a Netflix docuseries that covers that. I'm not going to go into it. You can look into it on your own. But they were intentionally negligent when dealing with this aircraft. This aircraft has been in service for almost half a century, damn near, and it's safe. People have died on 737s. I'm not saying that they haven't. But what I'm saying is that statistically speaking, as long as it's been in service, if you get on a 737, you're safe. Okay, and then I said you need to add those variables of the most two recent crashes where everyone on board died happened in the same country. That's another variable you need to add in. What are they doing when they maintenance their aircraft? It may be something they're not aware of. So when I heard that this plane crashed, I was really shocked it was a 737. Okay, and this is coming from someone who's afraid to fly. And I think I heard it was intentional, was like comforting from my spirit guides to tell me not to be worried to fly again. But I also felt like I needed to do a reading over it. So, the other thing that I heard was that the Chinese government is likely going to try to cover this up to make it seem like it's an issue with Boeing and not with the um, pilot being at fault for intentionally crashing the plane. This is what I want to preface this statement and say. Chinese people are good people, okay? This is no way me making this statement trying to say that they're bad people. The government, the people in power in China are the ones that are problematic. The Chinese people are good people and should be protected like any other ethnic group. But historically, the Chinese government has withheld things from the world to save themselves. Okay? And one thing, the Chinese government is very self-protective. China is one of those countries that will sacrifice everyone else to save themselves. If that makes sense. Because it'll be easier for the Chinese government to say, 
no, Boeing, something's wrong with your aircraft and not that our pilot intentionally dove it down and killed himself and 133 other people who had nothing to do with whatever issue made him want to do that, okay? See what I'm saying? Because then financially, Boeing is responsible and not ch the Chinese government. Not say the Chinese government, because although it's um, Ch um Eastern China Airlines, doesn't matter. Anything that happens to a major airliner in that country is going to affect the economy of the entire country. Because behind this air um this um plane crash will come lawsuits from families for the death of their loved ones. It's unclear the nationality of everyone on board. But if any of those, anyone on board was American, you can best believe the American government is going to have some issues and is going to want to inquiry into what happened. Now, whether the Chinese government will be transparent about that, I don't know. Again, I want to say this. Chinese people are good people. It is the government that is the is problematic. Historically, they have withheld things from the world to save themselves. They have withheld things from the world to save themselves. You all know that. We all know that. I'm not going to even go even in further into it. I think that they knew more and didn't say anything. And now the world is suffering because of their negligence. I The thing with that, I'm saying, why? how does that situation compare to this situation? Because with a Boeing 737, a relatively safe aircraft, just falling out of the sky the way it did, that would make other countries consider, we need to ground every 737. If every 737 in the world was grounded, billions of dollars would be lost in profit because planes aren't taking off. Okay, people would lose their jobs. Everyone's economy would suffer. Mostly every plane that you get in is damn near a 737, if we being realistic, okay? It's a very popular jet because it's very safe. And I hope that the Chinese government is transparent and is honest about what really happened on board that aircraft because I don't want us to get to the point where we start to believe that there's something wrong with the plane and it's not, and it was in truly um, a upset pilot. So. Like I said, I started this reading and it's been a long day and I pulled these cards and it wasn't recording and I wasn't going to go back and re-pull. Um, but this indicates, the Seven of Swords indicates someone that's willing to sacrifice other people to save themselves. Okay? The Seven of Swords indicates someone that does something for selfish reasons. Look at the imagery in the card. Look at the imagery. Just look at it. You see how he, he has his sword plus everyone else in that camp behind him that he then took and ran with. Um... This indicates taking everything with me, me leaving and everything else is going with me as well. All of your things, all of your loved ones are going to. I do think that one of the pilots on board that aircraft did try to save this jet. I think that it was too late by the time he figured out that the other pilot was really intentionally grounding the jet and not. So what this is what happened. This is the scenario that I'm seeing through the tarot. Likely the more experienced pilot is the one that had the issue in crashed the jet he made it had made the other pilot believe there was truly something wrong with the jet and that pilot did everything to correct it and when he realized that he followed all proper procedure and protocol and then start, started looking at the actions of the other pilot he realized at that moment that and there was nothing wrong with the plane and that the other pilot was likely downing it but by the time he could do anything, it was too late. It probably already stalled. Another thing scenario that I'm seeing is like I went for a bathroom break and I come back and the cockpit is barricaded and I can't get in. Another scenario that I saw was that likely um, a chemical a chemical restraint. And when I say chemical restraint, I mean someone who's given something to um, like, I don't want to say that. That's not good. Someone that's given your, okay, you're handed some a, a drink and it has something in it that restrains you chemically and you can't move. You're lethargic. You can't fight back. Okay. I'm getting the, 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 um, intuitive download that it's more, some more so something dealing with like, yeah, some type of trickery was used to make the plane go down. Um, spirit, give me more information surrounding why China Eastern airlines, um, 737 went down today. Give me more information. Tell me something I'm not seeing. Hold on. He's like, oh, I got something for you. Mm. Yeah, someone is having someone was having some financial issues. Someone lost some luxury items. Uh oh God, the chariot inverted, which can indicate someone it's indicates someone getting something done, but they get it done through an underhanded way. Mm. It can indicate exploiting other people for your own reasons.
The other pilot that isn't responsible for the plane going down intentionally is very intelligent. Picked up on it very quickly that something wasn't right. And I didn't see the Empress sticking out. But I'm not going to. Thank you, Spirit. And then we have it. Nine of the nine of swords inverted see i'm so tired inverted it just indicates the same thing as it does upright just worse what the pot what the person who wanted the plane to go down did they miscalculated the other person on the other side of that cockpit they thought that other person would just comply and just do what they say and allow the plane to go down. But the other person actually stood up and was like, no, something is right. You're the one that's the problem. And like I said, these are just intuitive scenarios. Because like I said, I also got the download that it could have been I went to the bathroom and then I was locked out of the cockpit when I came back. See, I've never seen a pilot use the bathroom during a flight, though, honestly. One of those flight attendants was very brave too. I'm seeing that as well. She knew something about the flight path was incorrect. Like the fact that they were going straight down, that's not real. That's not, not real. It's not normal. She knew. She was very supportive of the other passengers even during the last moments of the aircraft. Still comforting people despite knowing their fate. Bless her heart. Give me more spirit. What will the Chinese government, how transparent will the Chinese government be about the real reason the flight went down? How transparent will the Chinese government be about the real reason the flight went down? I told you judgment. They're going to um, do wrong and then come back and apologize, honestly. I don't think they're going to be upfront about it. I just don't. I don't I'm not going to say I don't think. I know they're not going to tell the truth because they don't. Three of Swords inverted. It'll be too much of a, I told you. Sacrificing everybody else to save ourselves. But the good thing about this is that this jet, this aircraft that went down to 737 has such an impeccable aviation history that everyone is going to have eyebrows raised if they try to say that it was, it was something wrong with the aircraft, especially considering how the flight went down. And there's video of it just going straight down. Like I said, planes don't. They then, you know, that is what's the save. Now, if this was a 737 Max, they would have a damn a foot to stand on. I'm telling you that right now. Because, like, that aircraft has been in um, service less than five years, I'm sure. L probably less than that. And had two crashes within six months that killed hundreds of people. Um, now, if that was a 737 Max, we would, be in, we would be in a boatload of trouble. But I'll be honest with you. I almost feel like the person who intentionally crashed this jet ensured that they were on this one you see every time i get to talking about it how something i'm gonna say what needs to be said i'm certain that the person who intentionally crashed this jet made sure he was flying the safest one and not this one because he knew that people would have questions he wanted people to know what he did her or she i'm just using that pronoun because i don't know who what, whether the pilot was male or female, don't hold me to it, you know? Yeah, this person... The, the, another thing that may happen is that other people who've worked with this pilot will describe his attitude silently. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna get a name or nothing, but they're gonna say he was an asshole. He was always pessimistic. He was rude. He was arrogant. They're gonna say those things to, to start to leak that, you know, this wasn't... You may even hear someone say that they were um, that they didn't like when he was flying the plane because they were con always they were concerned about his judgment. Thank you, Spirit. See, he's, Spirit's not gonna make me do too much work tonight because they know I'm tired. Um, I told you, Seven of Pentacles inverted. It was it was some type of financial issue going on too, guys. Again, I think the other pilot that was in the aircraft shot the one that wanted it to go down when he was like oh hell no no we're not doing this today unfortunately it was just too late bless his heart mm -hmm. i told you guys seven of cups inverted guys okay spirit why did i just get that download so i think let me see why did i get that download what's that one of the cards hold on 
I think Spirit is trying to tell me something. Give me a second. Let me call Santa because I heard it, but can you say it again, please? I think he's trying to tell me that this is one of the cards that I pulled earlier. I pre-pulled cards. I don't know if I mentioned that. I did a preliminary read before I did this full read because I was so, after I heard that, I was like, oh, hell no. We ain't, we ain't doing this today. And I wanted to do a reading so bad, but I just didn't have time, y'all. Today has been a very long day, okay? Um, y'all may get something tomorrow. Y'all may not. Just depends on how bad my classes are. I tell you, cause school's picking up. Um, but y'all probably get one. You'll get a reading. Uh, I think, and I'm using the phone that I took the pictures. The spread I did I only did two spreads earlier, and there were simple three card spreads. But he's saying that this card was pulled before, and it's 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 important. But I'm trying to confirm that I really pulled this card before. Give me more. While I wait for this computer to boot. Because I put the pictures on my computer. The Emperor. Wow. Yeah. It, this energy is giving one of us was doing the right thing. While the other one worked against it at, at their very might. It could have even been that the other person fought to the very end. While the other person intentionally just didn't do their part. So it could go down. It's giving that energy too. I do think at some point. The person that you know was doing the right thing may have thought is he no he couldn't do that i think it was kind of like that energy too like yeah he's an asshole but they kind of even though this other person I, like i said is constantly pessimistic and we're going to hear people come out and say how it was working with him it was horrible i can tell you that right now um it's going to be yeah it's just because you know it's un it's you would never think that someone would intentionally crash a jet, an airplane. And the whole time, yeah. Yeah, the strength at the bottom strength at the bottom inverted indicates someone abusing their power. Someone doing something that's not moral. Someone doing something underhanded. Someone it also can indicate being weak. It can indicate someone that has a personality issue as well. Because the Leo is a big personality inverted. Think of a Leo inverted. If a Leo was, you know what I'm saying? And then we got the Ten of Wands. I know this card. I remember this card coming out. Spirit, thank you. Yeah. Will of Fortune. In, oh, my God. Guys, I think these are the same freaking cards. I, I, I got you. Y'all, there's a method to my madness. You can make this video go faster by pressing the right-hand side. I think it's those three buttons. And then you can do the speed of the video. You can speed the video up if you want to. I'm not going to stay on here very much longer because I do have a long day tomorrow and I'm just, I'm exhausted. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, some of these, I, do, I know, now I know one of these cars was out for sure, Spirit. I know that. Yeah, but these, okay, so yeah. I honestly think all three of these cars are the cars that I pulled earlier. Give me a second, guys. If I, as soon as I, why does my internet just not automatically connect when I have my laptop up? Like, that's what bothers me. You guys can skip through this part until you see me putting the pictures on the screen. How about that? Because I'm going to show y'all how I pulled these same cards earlier. And I just think this is Spirit's way of confirming that I'm that I'm on the right track. Because I am kind of tired. And I, you know, I don't like doing readings when I'm this tired. But I really needed to get this out today. Because I really, because it, it, it'll comfort people to know that this is, like I said, I don't know. Anything can come out. And with the Chinese government, like I said, not being transparent, I think that it'll for years we'll be debating whether this was intentional or unintentional, whether, whether this was intentional or 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 error, or um, a mechanical error. See, I'm so tired. Um, I think for like I yeah. Um, but like I said, I really do feel like he waited till he was on that specific aircraft because he knew. That people would be like, oh, 737s don't nosedive. Mm -mm. And he knew that people would be able, because I do think there is a part of this person, as sickening as it is, that wanted people to know that this was done intentionally. And you know, there is going to be a nice and warm, hot place in hell for him or her who did this. Suicide is never okay, but it just it just adds salt to the wound when people take people with them. Why is it necessary to take 133 other people with you? You know, you see what I'm saying? Like, I don't 
ever want anybody to hurt themselves, but I don't want you to kill 133 people in the process of killing yourself. I don't want you to kill yourself. But I just think it's, a, it's an added level of nastiness when you do that. You know, most people who are suicidal have no intention of hurting other people. You know, and people who in their lives are truly at the lowest point that they've ever been if you feel like you can't live anymore. And, but then when you take people with you, that's just, come on now. It's hard enough losing you, but then have to lose every, it's not okay. Because I still, like I said, even though this wasn't right, I still grieve for someone that felt that they had to do this. That there was no other alternate, alternate options. You know? In, um, in an American pilot has attempted to intentionally down a plane before. You can look it up. It's a FedEx um, mail carrier plane. Three, it was three pilots on board. One pilot wanted to crash the plane intentionally, um, but the other pilots restrained him. But they restrained him to the point that they were injured to the point that they were never cleared to fly again. So American people have done this too. Let's 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 get that straight. This isn't a. I just want to ensure that this people don't take this as meaning. I'm in any way bashing Chinese people because that's not it. It's the govern the government. Just like the American government ain't nothing, that don't mean Americans ain't nothing. It's in any. It's just how they run things. I just don't like the say, let's say face and just blame it on anybody else it's, it's, instead of accepting per personal accountability. Especially because, like I said, I feel like China has a history of doing that. I think they have a history of not being 100% um, what it was transparent about things that they they caused, and then play the vic and then turn around and play the victim, but at the expense of everyone else. That's never okay. Sometimes it's uh, it's just best to tell the truth. Say what happened. Say that our pilot intentionally crashed this aircraft and took 133 innocent people with him, instead of trying to say, "Oh, it's Boeing." So people can now ground all the 737s around the world, lose billions of dollars. It's like, but the, another thing about it too is, and I'll be honest with you guys, the world is not going to accept an explanation from China other than the fact that the pilot intentionally made the aircraft go down. Let me be, let me be, let me be 100 with you because everyone knows that if, okay, if they're trying to say that this is what happened, see, yep, this is, this is the seven of cups inverted. I can't make it up. Look at this. Seven of Cups inverted. Look, right here. Now, this is the Celestial Tarot. This is the Seven of Cups inverted. And then, see, that's the Ten of Wands upright. This is the Ten of Wands upright. Thank you, Spirit. And then, the Wheel of Fortune inverted here. And then, the Wheel of Fortune is inverted in this picture. You see that? I can't make See? I just want you guys to see that. I See, those are the cards that I pre-pulled. When I first asked about... Was it intentionally, wasn't an intentional act or that's when I knew then well, after that first, that, that, this spread, I knew, oh, this shit is, uh, uh, I knew this wasn't right. And then the second spread is the one, I don't know if I talked about it already. I've done so much talking was the one where I seen the Empress inverted, the Emperor inverted, and then the three of swords inverted. I did talk about that spread and I'm going to show y'all those cards here. Cause I took pictures of them. Anybody who knows me and knows this channel, y'all know Southern Belle pulls her cards in front of your face. I never do this. I only did this today, and this is a special circumstance because um, I wanted to. I knew it would be important to document these cards because I couldn't believe how bad it was. Okay, so here's the other ones. I know it's going to be hard to see, but just try. That's the Empress inverted, the Emperor inverted, and then that's the Three of Wands inverted. I mean, Three of Swords. Three of Swords inverted. Like I told you guys, I'm tired. And then here we have the Three of Swords inverted again. So Spirit is affirming what what my intuitive, let's call this, let's call it this, an intuitive hypothesis. My intuitive hypothesis is that there were no structural or mechanical issues with that aircraft today and that this was an intentional crashing of an airliner due to a suicidal pilot and or co-pilot because of some financial and relational relationship issue. I will say this to me, like I said, the three of swords is a double-edged sword because it can say, oh, I'm getting over a bad heartbreak, but it still has that double-edged sword of I'm still not over it. I think what's made them snap today is the fact that they thought everything was fine after a period of, of series of unfortunate events. Oh, I think our marriage is fine. 
I come home and I have divorce papers or, you know, something, something occurred today that made them snap. I can say that, but see, I can't make it up. Y'all see it. The proof is in the pudding. And I think it's really important for me to look at these. <laughs> it's just something. Let me, yeah. The 10 of wands just indicates they felt like it was just a battle, like that they couldn't do it. Wheel of Fortune inverted. I wrote on that card. It can indicate bad luck because the Wheel of Fortune upright. That means things are going your way. Everything's great. Inverted. Nothing is going. Nothing is going right. Nothing is moving forward. Everything's going backward. After I thought that things were fine. Yeah, this person had suffered for for months in this type of energy. That's unfortunate. And then, like I said, Three of Swords inverted. Yeah, well, Three of Swords, like I said, is that double-edged sword of, I think that after all of this stuff was happening that you see in these cards and you just saw in the cards that I pre-pulled earlier during the preliminary reading, things were fine, but oh, then it just all hit you at one time and then that's when someone unfortunately decided that not only do I want to go, but I want to take other mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, probably infants with me um, that have absolutely nothing to do with this. That's just not fair to anybody. That's very selfish very selfish thing it makes it hard for you it makes it hard to i do feel awful for because think if you had to take all those people with you you really were in a bad place because you know most people that i hate that commit suicide don't take people with them okay but we don't want even want you to leave i just wish there was something that could have there but i'm really getting this spirit this the spirit this this feeling that one of those um what is it flight attendants that I was saying that was comforting people despite knowing that they that things were going to end the way they have knew when they were boarding the plane I, that something wasn't right with him that he was acting awkward she may have mentioned this to a family member give me something out of the kipper deck about the um crash of um this china eastern airlines and I hope I'm saying the airline name right guys I told you I'm tired give me something out of the kipper I'm hearing why are you even in here See, poverty is inverted. See, it's like the indication, adjudication, which can indicate a, a counselor. So it's like things were being settled. Adjudication is not like courthouse. Adjudication is a neutral party helping two people work things out. Like I thought things were turning for the better. Poverty being inverted. I'm going to read it inverted. I think I thought I was coming, but it, it just went, yeah, things just went left. What is this? False person. I told you guys. False person. Yeah, one of those pilots pretend... Yeah, this is awful. This is awful. This is awful. You know, when you get on an aircraft, you're entrusting the people in that cockpit with your life and for them to be the one to take it, that's bad. That's terrible. Again, nothing I say in this reading should be construed as being, this is the truth. This is just my intuitive interpretation of the tarot. I acknowledge now and in my description box below that I could be wrong at any time. Um, it is almost 12 a.m., so I'm going to go ahead and close this reading out and post it. Spirit, give me any closing energy on China Eastern Airlines that crashed today, March 21st of 2022. Okay, it's too many. I'm not doing that. We ain't doing that. I'm almost at the point where I want to stop shuffling now. I'm going to do the top three. Y'all, yeah, three of swords, upright, knight of pentacles, inverted. Yeah, nine of wands. Think of it in traditional tarot. If I could find the nine of wands quickly, I'm going to pull it. But if I don't see it in any of these cards, oh, look, spirit wanted y'all see it. I'm telling y'all, look, see, in traditional tarot, how the nine of wands looks, it's a man standing around all these wands, standing his ground, despite having like the three of swords inverted, heartbreak, but then things just, the nine of pentacles in, indicate things going stagnant, things all of a sudden coming to a sudden stop. Like I, yeah, these cards are just repeating themselves. I'm repeating myself again. Nothing I say in this reading should be taken as to be the truth. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. Please like, com like, and comment on my community page because I just save my comments because I don't have time to be hearing people mouths. Um, but I love you guys in, 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 anyway. But it's not necessary for me to feed myself that negativity intentionally by leaving them open. Um, I'll see you guys next time. It'll be soon. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.